for joining me to color. Today we are going to be working on this adorable Stampin' Bella image called Maybelline Loves Mail. Isn't she cute? I will put a link down in the description box to the card kit and all the supplies I used. I would love for you to come shopping with me. Um, it would be also be great if you could hit the like button and if you're not a subscriber you could go ahead and do that and you'll get an update every time I load a new video. I try to do new videos on Thursday to correspond with the following or with the previous week's um, card kit release on Monday. So you have time to order it and it can come in the mail and it's all ready before you get the video is released. So I've already stamped my image on Nina 80 pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So let's color. Let's start out by outlining our image and for that I'm going to use C0. And let's start over here underneath of the bench. So I'm just gonna go over here underneath my bench and just give it a slight outline here. That For me, it just gives it a little bit, makes it look like it's popping up off the page a little bit. And it's totally up to you. If you don't want to outline it, that's wonderful. And then I'm going to kind of go down the inside of this little bench, or the mailbox stick here, a little bit. And then we'll go around our bench. And then let's go over here and get a few spaces up here. And just work our way around to the other side. Go around our mailbox. And too, if you do it before you do any of your coloring, if you get some on your, your project, you can erase it. I never worry about it because it's such a light color that if I get some on my my project, I just leave it on there. But if you're worried, you could erase it, and it'd be super easy. And we'll just work our way back around over this way. I think I'll go around a few of these leaves. And I'll see it'll be super great in here because you can go right over the top of the leaves and you won't even notice later when we color them green. And then let's get in between some of these bench slats. And I'm not going to do that circle because we're going to paint that blue. And I think I'll actually go around some of these flowers over here too. And I'm not being very careful. I'm just kind of willy-nilly sticking it in there. And that's a bench, so we want to color that. And that looks pretty good for our outline. Next, let's go ahead and do her skin. So for that, we're going to use E11, E21, E00, and for her cheeks, I'm going to use R20 and E93 today. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my E11 and give her a little bit of shadow. So let's start down here in her leg, and right here in her ruffle, she's got a little bit of leg showing. So I'm going to go ahead and color that in. And then we're going to go up here, and we're going to go underneath of her ruffle a little bit. And then I'm going to go down the back of her leg. And I'm just barely using the tip of my pen, whoops, got a little crazy there, and making a small line down the back. Same for this side, we're going to go underneath the ruffle, and then I'm going to go down the bottom, or the back of her leg. And I try to just use the very tip and use a very small line. Next I'm going to go with E21. So we're going to brush on top of our E11, and we're going to brush out away into our white. Same 
for this side. Let's turn it a little bit here. And then I want to fill it in with my E double zero. Turn her just a little bit more here so I can see a little bit better. And I'm gonna go right down that leg. And she's got really skinny legs, so you gotta be careful. give that a little brush. Okay, and I'm going to go up here and we're going to do her arms next. So I'm going to again grab E11 and let's do a little bit by her sleeve and up the bottom of her arm. And she's got little dinky fingers so I'm going to give each of those a little bitty dab. Just a little bit. Let's go ahead and do her neck here too, as long as we're up here. Let me go right along her dress. Next, I'm going to go with E21. See if we can add a little bit more color in there. And then I want to go over the entire thing with E00. And these, if you thought her legs were small, that her arms are really small. Okay. Next, let's go up here and do her face. So again, I'm going to grab E11. And I'm going to do a little bit up here in her part. Come down here to her neck. And then a little dab right next to her bangs and her little ears showing over here. So I'm going to give that a little, a little bit. And then I'm going to grab E21. And I'm going to bring this over to this side and feather that line. And then I'm going to take my E00, fill in her ear there before I forget it. Let's give her cheeks a little bit of color. So I'm going to grab R20 and I'm going to do her cheeks underneath of her eyes. So I'm going to go down underneath of her eyes and give her a little swirl of circle underneath. That. And then I'm going to take E93 and just go over the edge. Then I like to go over her face again. So I'm going to go with my E21. And I'm going to very lightly do the side here. And then I'm going to go over the entire thing with my E00. And I think I'll pink in her cheeks up a little bit more. So I'm going to take my R20 again. And then E93. And then E triple zero just over the top of a small, small little bit. Let's move on to her hair next. For that, we're going to use E44, E42, and E40. I'm going to start with my E42 and add in a few little streaks here. So let's start it apart. And I'm just going to brush down from her part and up from her ear. And same over here, we'll go from her part. And I try to keep my streaks going in the same direction her hair is going. And then she's got these little curly cues on her head, so I'm going to go ahead and give each little curly cue a little bit of color. And I'm not being too fancy about it, just kind of swirling in my brush around in there. And I think I'll give a little bit more over here by her ear. Then I'm going to grab E40. Same thing for little curlies. I'm just going to get a little swirl in there. And then brush 
down and up from her heart. And then I'm going to add some dark with E44. So let's start down here at her. And I try to hold my pen more straight up and down. So my lines are a little bit um, thinner. And then we want to put something up here in her little swirly cues. Let's do a little bit of that. For her dress, let's use BG3432 and G00. So I'm going to start with my BG34. And let's start up here at the top. So I'm going to go I'm going to turn my girl a little bit. I'm going to go down this sleeve. So let's do a little bit of flicking right along the edge of that sleeve. And I'm going to do a little bit here in this crease. And then I want to do some from the bottom of her sleeve here. And then you can kind of see the underside of her sleeve, so I'm going to give that a little dab of color. And I'm going to fill in this little spot right here behind her arm. And let's go across the top of her bodice. And over here to this arm. Look at the, her elbow. And again, here's the inside of her sleeve. And the bottom of her sleeve. Then I'm going to go with BG32. Let's add some more color. fill it in with our G double zero. And then we're going to go down here to do the bottom of her dress. So again, I've grabbed BG34. And let's do a little bit above her arm here. And then for her dress, let's do her fanny. So I'm going to do right around here. Like that. And then we want to get right here where her she's leaning onto her arm. And then I'm also going to do, let me turn her here so I can flick better. And I do away from her arm over here. And I'm going to grab BG32. Do our fanny again. And then G double zero to fill it in. BG32, I forgot to do up here on the side of her bodice. So let's go ahead and add some of that in here. 
and then G00 to fill that in. And then I'm going to take my G00 for her ruffle down here and just kind of take my brush and swirl it around in little circles. So there's some white left in there, but it's got some color on it too. Now let's hop down here and do our shoes. So I'm going to grab BG34. And I'm going to give a little dab of that right along the edge. There's not much shoe there, so you've got to be careful. And then BG32. And then I'm going to go over the whole thing with G00. So let's do the bench next. For that we're going to use E37, E35, E34, E31, and E30. And I'm going to start with my E37. And let's start over here on this side of the bench. So we're going to do over here on this side, we're going to go down edge, and then we're going to, we got to kind of look in between the bushes here. Down that side. And it goes clear down here to the bottom, like that. And then for this top rail, I'm going to do along the edge. So we're going to give it a little dab of color at the bottom. And for this one right next to her face, well, so I'm stand right there, I'll give that a little dab of color. And then let's move down here to this next rail. So again, I'm going to give a little dab of color along the bottom. And for the arm, let's do, turn it a little bit here. For the arm, I want to do right along the bottom of this, over to this side. And then I'm going to bring it up here onto the arm. And let's do this little rail right here. And then for each of these little sticks in the middle here, I'm going to go down the inside. And this one, I'm going to go on that other side. And then for the circle, let's do right next to the edge of this inner circle. Okay, and over here, let's do this bench. So let's do this arm over here. this side up again and then we got the stick or the rail that goes down so let's do that one as long as we're over here like that oh and I forgot this front stick over here okay and then for the bench on the front let's go along the bottom that. And then we're going to get up here. Underneath this cute little envelope. And over here, let's go a little bit underneath it for Fanny. Okay, I don't think I missed one, but if not, then we'll come back. Next I'm going to grab E35, and I just want to go over and add a little bit more color to each of my lines. So I'm just going to go right over the top of my last color, E37. And just make it a little bit wider.
And I'm not worried about it being perfect. Because it's a bench. It's supposed to be kind of wood's not even and pretty all over. a little bit of a bench showing there at the top. I think I'll give that a little dab of color there. And just work our way around to the other side. Like that. Okay, and then we'll grab the next color, which is E34. And we just want to do the same thing. So again, you're going to go over the colors you just laid down. And if you feel run out of room and you don't have enough room for all your colors, that's awesome too. Sometimes I have more room than the last time. I don't know how that I'm a little bit more careful, I guess, when I'm coloring it by myself than when I'm doing it on the video. I'm trying not to take two years to color it when I'm coloring it for you guys. because it does usually take a while for me to color things. And then work our way down along the edge here. And I work our way across this side. Next is E31, so if you still have some more room, let's add that. each of these cute little slats. And that leaves us with E30. So even if you filled it all the way in, I still like to go over the parts that are filled in with my E30, my last color, just to blend them all nice and softly. Get the top of that bench there. Put 
going over to all the circles. Like that. All right, let's go do this cute little mailbox next. For that, we're going to use C7, C5, and C3. So let's do C7 first, and I'm going to go ahead and paint in or color in the, the stick all the way. So I'm going to go down here in the grass and work my way up the mailbox post. I'm not going to give that any special anything. I'm just going to color it in because it's such a little stinky, skinny stick. Then I'll just color that in. Okay, then we're going to go up here and we're going to color in the bottom. And then I'm going to bring this bottom color around to the middle of my mailbox. Like that. And then I'm going to do the back. And then we'll do in here on the inside. And then the inside of this wall over here. And we're going to grab C5. Touch down on top of your last color and flick away from it. C3 is next. And then we'll finish it off with C1. I also want to do the outside lip of my mailbox. So I'm going to go around that. And then I'm going to brush over my mailbox one more time just to soften it up. For the cute little flag, let's use R29, R24, and R22. So I'm just going to give R29 a little dab along the bottom. And then I'm going to give it a little dab of R24. And then I'm going to fill it in with R22. And since we have these colors out, we're going to go over here and do um, these cute little flowers right here. So I'm going to grab um, R29 first. And I just want to go around the edge or around the center of each flower. I want to paint the insides yellow, so I'm going to go just around those little cute stamens. And there's some lines on the flowers right here, like in the middle. I'm going to exaggerate those. Let's go all the way. So. And I'm going to grab R24 next, and I just want to add to that color so you can make it as wide or as skimpy as you want. I'm going to kind of fill in my petals and just leave the edges for the light color. And then I'm going to fill it in with my R22. Careful getting out here towards the edge. I don't worry about it so much here in the middle. As I figure it's flowers, there might be some peeking through in the back. 
like this one there's some background I think that was background I just colored it in For the centers, you have, let's use Y13. So I'm just going to go in and swirl a little color right on the top of that. And I also want to use Y13 up here on this little butterfly. So I'm going to color in. She's got some little decorations in the center of each wing that I'm going to use my Copic Multi Liner to color black. But I'm going to color his wings yellow. Like that. And then let's go down here and do these little flowers here. For that, we're going to use Y17 and Y13. So I'm going to start with my Y17, and I'm going to do each center the cute little flowers. And then I want to give the bottoms a little bit of color. And then I'm going to take my Y13 to fill them in. I'm not caring so much if the colors that the lines are there. I'm not blending it all the way. I'm just going to leave them like that. So it's got a little bit more definition. So for these little bunches of flowers that are on each side, we're going to use B06 and B00. So I'm going to start with my B06, and I'm just going to go in. I'm going to get some dots going. And then I'm going to go over here and do this side. So again, I'm just going to dot my pin around on top of those cute little bunches of flowers. I'm not caring where they are on the flowers, just that they're making some color. And then I'm going to take my B00, and I'm just going to swirl it over the top. kind of filling in some excess space. Like over here you can see the background, but that's okay. I'm just going to fill that all in. And just make it pretty blue. Now let's work on the leaves and the grass. For that we're going to use G46, G41, and G20. I'm going to start with my G46, and let's go over here and do these leaves first. So I'm just going to give each leaf a little dab of my green. And there's a cute little um, like oval in the middle of each leaf, so I'm kind of filling that in, I guess. And we're going to work our way around and get all the leaves. And I'm not being too careful about it, just flicking my brush into each one. And work our way to the other side. I think I got all those. And then there's some cute little leaves over here on our daffodils. So let's go ahead and give those a little bit of color. Like that. And then we're going to do the whole process again with um, G21. So let's start over here on this side since I'm over here. Let's work our way back across. And then again over here on this side. And I'm going to 
of being too careful. If I get some out on the outside, I'm okay with it since it's all supposed to be shrubbery over here. Then I'm going to take G20 and fill those in. So now we want to just touch each leaf and fill them all the way in. Make it nice and pretty. And we'll get some over here on this side. that. Okay, now I want to do um, some grass. So I'm going to grab my G46 and I'm going to go add some lines here where we've got some of these stems of grass that are showing. go with G21. Same thing, I'm just kind of willy-nilly sticking some color in here. And then I'm going to take G20 to kind of fill it in. shoes. And I'm just going to leave it like that. So that leaves us with these cute envelopes and this little letter. For that we're going to use different ones. So we're going to use E50, R00, R29, B06 and C00. So let's start with C00 for this little letter. And I'm just going to take my C00 and I'm not going to fill it all the way in. I'm just going to scribble over the words. And that's all I'm going to do to it. And then this cute little envelope here has a heart on it. So I'm going to take R00. And same thing, nothing fancy. I'm just going to go over my envelope and fill it in. And then down here, I'm going to, for this little pile, I'm going to take E50 and let's fill in this one and this one and this one here on the top. And then I'm going to take C00 for these others. And then for the stamps, I'm going to use B06. each stamp a little dab of color and then I'm going to take R29 and just dab it in the middle of each of those little stamps so it looks like it has a little something going on there. So there is our beautiful Winona Loves Mail all colored up. Isn't she adorable? It is pretty time consuming. It's going to take you a while to color that if you're being slow and cautious and trying not to scribble all over the place. So be prepared that it's going to take you a little bit. So here again is the finished card. Isn't she cute? So I have used um, my cloud template to make these clouds up here and there. I do have a video showing you how to do that. And you can download the cloud template from the, the store blog on the left hand side. And I used tumbled glass to make my clouds and some stormy sky in there. 
And then I just took my finger dauber and I kind of swirled inside each of the background here of my little bench. So it kind of colored that in. And then I did use my Sharpie paint pen um, on her cheeks. Remember to shake that with the lid on. And then my Stickle Stardust, I used that on her dress ruffles. And then these cute blue flowers and then the center of these little red flowers. And this little sentiment is not the one that comes with the stamp set. It's from the My Favorite Things Essential Sentiment set. It's, it's an older one, um, so you might have that. But I did stamp these for the kit so that you have those already in there. And if you wanted to stamp the sentiment that comes with it, it's bigger. I couldn't get it to fit on the front. You could maybe stamp it in the middle of your card on the inside. So I hope you had fun coloring with me today. If you have a question, leave me a comment, and I will get back to you. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>